Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. In this small video, we will see what are the important points that you need to keep in mind while writing answers for economics optional in UPSC mains examination for civil services. So there are a few points that I am keep on looking in the answers of the students. Now what we can see in economics optional because I have been teaching economics optional since many years. What I understood is that there are common mistakes. So this is the video for you if you are writing economics optional in the mains examination. Number one point is we need to understand the demand of the question. If you remember the famous sales law of market, what it says that supply creates its own demand. So generally the students write answers like this. It means whatever they know, they end up writing answers in the examination irrespective of whatever the question is asking. So on the same lines, what you need, you need to spend a good amount of time on understanding the question. Because if you don't understand the question, then you don't know what to write and you ended up in writing something else which has not been asked. So what is important point? First read the question, spend good amount of time like 30 seconds to 60 seconds maybe. It's like almost one minute that you have to spend in thinking about that what is the demand of the question. If demand of the question is suppose I will ask what is your name, you have to tell me the name only. You don't have to tell the surname even. Now what you need to understand, suppose there are two ways that you want to travel. This is one way and this is another way. And there's a condition that you cannot come back. So what you will do, you will stand here and you will think for a minute that in which way I would prefer. Okay, so on the same lines, see the demand of the question which is very, very, very important. The second point is whenever we write answer, what we do is we generally tend to deviate from the question. Now in the question, first line is simple, clear, then you're writing for that. But what happened in the midway, when you reach around 33 to 40% of the answer, what you do is you tend to deviate. So there is one rule which is called 33% rule. In that 33% rule, what I would suggest that if you are writing answer for three page, so in every page you have to reread the question. Okay. So while writing the answer, if you complete your answer 33%, go back to the question and reread it very quickly. See the keywords and then again you write. Okay. The third important thing is a lot of students ask me the same question on my WhatsApp number. And if you have query in your mind, you can also ask on the WhatsApp number given on the screen as well as the description. Now, what is important here? It is important that when we write introduction and conclusion, because these are the two things which is generally students are having questions in mind. Now, in the introduction must be two lines. Two lines means if you're writing one page of answer, introduction must be two lines. If it is more than that, you can understand that it's almost 10%. So, Introduction is the main important thing where you can give signal to the examiner that you understood the question. Okay, this is what you need to do. You no need to repeat the question once again. I have seen a lot of copies in my past experience of teaching for economics optional. What students do? Students repeat the same question in writing the introduction. It's not university level exam. You have to understand that you have a scarcity of space and time. So what you need, jump directly onto the answer. So from reading introduction, examiner must get points that you understood the question. Talking about conclusion, after reading conclusion, examiner will give marks. Now conclusion doesn't mean that you summarize your answer. Conclusion means that you conclude the way that you were presenting your point. Like for example, if you see Manrega, Manrega scheme, they ask the question. Now in Manrega scheme, what you will say? That what is the conclusion if you're writing some answer related to the scheme? Suppose they have uh, they've asked the elucidate Manrega scheme. What will you write? You write the, all the provision, the pros and cons of that schemes. Another thing is depend on the keyword that they are asking. But at the end, what you write? A way forward, a futuristic approach. Because they need officers, IAS officers, which are thinking about future, not about the past or it must end, your answer must end at the optimistic note. So you are the future officer, you have to write optimistically. If you write passively the conclusion, because after reading conclusion, the evaluator will give marks. So your conclusion must be very strong because if your conclusion is not strong, you will not able to get marks. 
नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज टू कंप्लीट योर क्वेश्चन पेपर वॉट जनरली पीपल डू पीपल टेन टू लीव द questions some of the questions they are not able to do begin the stipulated time period now what is upsc demands here it's simple discipline like you know that these number of questions and you know that this type like you have 180 minutes or 3 hours it means you have defined task in defined or limited amount of time so it is up to you or up to your management that how will you manage if you are not able to complete your paper it leaves very very bad impression on the examiner so what you need here you need you have a task on the one hand you have time on the other you have to manage that perfectly so while writing one answer good and leaving another it's better to write half both the answers because in making this answer one answer more effective will not get more marks but if you complete at least 50% of both these answer you may get one or two marks more and you know the value of one or two marks okay so these are the some points that you have to keep in mind while writing the economics option in the mains examination of upsc civil services i hope you like this video please give a big thumbs up because it takes a lot and it's a motivation for me if you like the video other thing if you have anything in mind related to economics option or any guidance you can contact on my whatsapp number given on the screen or you can also go to the description and download the ecoholics app where we provide free doubt facility for all these students and that is a guaranteed 24 hours reply if you need anything else we are having economics optional course we are teaching live classes providing study material to your postal address weekly answer writing practice this is how we focus Okay so this is a complete package that you will get to the dream of UPSC civil services and at last don't forget to subscribe ecoholics on youtube to get the future videos in your notification bar thank you so much take care